Hi, thanks for watching this Tower Defense Toolkit Overview video. My name is Song, the creator of the toolkit. I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking to you um, and show you how to use this toolkit as well as showing you some of the things it can do. So I have myself a fresh copy of Tower Defense Toolkit here. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by showing you how to create a simple scene. So you do this by access the top panel and just a click on button and that's it this scene is good to go All right you can build tower on it you can spawn the crepes and there we go so now let's take a look at how things work so this is these are all the compu components you have in the in the toolkit you can probably tell from the name what each of them do so um, the game control controls the logic, the spawn manager do the spawning, the build manager control what tower is to build, the path is the path, and so on and so forth. Now, I'm gonna well, let's take a look at build manager and the platform. As you can see um, in this scene, as well as if you have played the demo, um, the demo, all the tower has to be built on certain platforms. So this is actually the platform, so it works fairly straightforward. So they are a, a, a game object which you can configure their scale or position or rotation and they are assigned to build manager or you can let it just let it auto assign. I'm going to do that just to show you. So I'm not assigning anything. The build manager will automatically locate all the build platforms. You can have as many platforms as you want. So let's duplicate a few. All right, and then give them different sizes and shape. This one is a bit too close to the path. Let's string it a bit. Right, so there you go. They all should work. So as you can see, it's pretty flexible, right? So, and you can probably tell as well, you can select which tower can be built on which platform, but we're not going to go to, to do that. Now, now let's move on to path. So path is basically where the creeps move. So it actually is a component with a list of waypoint. So the waypoint are just empty transform indicate the position in the in the in the 3D space. Um, I'm gonna switch to another example just to show you because there's only two waypoint here. We need more. So this is a prefab uh, a scene I created earlier. So the path is obviously a lot more longer. So you can tell they're assigned properly. So you can adjust the waypoint however you want. So you can tell the blue line will reflect the, the, the actual path when in runtime. So yeah, you can adjust them however you want. And yeah, there, there we go. And now we move to a more interesting idea that is instead of assigning an empty waypoint to the path, what I can do is I can assign a, pre, a, a platform to the path. So now you can see the blue line indicates the next transform is actually the waypoint itself. And I can still move this around, the path will still work. But what difference is whenever you assign a platform, the platform becomes uh, an open area which the creep needs to traverse through. Right? So in that sense, you can you can still build tower on it, of course. Let me just enable the UI. Right. Now I can build tower on it to block the path. Now you can see indicator they have to go through. Now if I remove this next time round, it will just, just go through the shortest path. And now if I block it, it has to find another way around. So that's interesting, right? And the good thing about the path is um, you can have as many paths as you want. Now that this is a bit complicated, let's move on to a more simple scene. Back to the first one. 
you can have two or three, right? And they should work. Now, this brings me to Spawn Manager. Now, Spawn Manager is where we configure uh, the spawn info, means what we want to spawn, how many do we want them, so on and so forth. As you can see, you can assign a path here, path 1, which is the default path. And now I'm going to add path 2. So let's open up the spawn info. So these are the spawn info. So I have the default path. I have the first wave, which is this vehicle here, 3 units of them. So I can add more wave. I can add more unit. I can change the unit count. I can change different kind of unit give it a delay and so on and so forth I can change how many can how many resources should the player gain if I manage if they manage to clear the wave and you get the idea and if you are too lazy just you auto generate right and all the uh, how how do you control all the parameter of auto generate you can do them here which is this is of course you can use them for the infinite endless mode so everything has to be procedurally generated now we just stick to finite now we have two unit which is good now we want it to move through path two for the second unit oops right let's stick that here so it won't go away path two now play Now we don't need this anymore. Let's shut it. Activate the UI. Now the second unit should come from this path two seconds after the first spawn. Right. As you can see, it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, imagine the things you can do with a combination of the waypoints, the platform, and all that configuration you get in the spawn manager. Now Let's bring on more stuff, shall we? We move on to the Ability Manager. You can probably tell uh, from this here, or even if you have played the demo, you can actually do all sorts of ability here. So these are the extra system in the in the toolkit, so to speak. And you can, they are fairly customizable. So you just open the editor, um, say you want to create a new ability, what they want to do, do they require targeting or do they require targeting of a single unit only, hostile or friendly and what they want to do, do they damage the unit, do they apply slow or do they buff them so yeah it's however, however you want it and, and that's it and then we move on to um, perk manager, I should show you FPS control but let's I'll do that later. So the perk manager works uh, almost the same as the ability manager, but it, it it's different. Obviously, it used to building a, a tech tree of some sort. So you can you can see there's a variety of perk you can do. Each of them do different thing. For instance, you can add a new tower to the game, add a new ability to the game, modify the life life regeneration over time. Um, modify the tower stat of all tower modify certain specific tower like this one here it modifies the MG tower, pulse and beam tower and this one this one here modify cannon tower, artillery tower and so on and so forth you can modify for instance this modify uh, the ability uh, this one adds a new ability if I want to modify um, all tower as you can see I can I can give them bonus hit point, I can increase their damage, I can increase their critical chance, so on and so forth. And they have all sorts of requirements that you can set up with. Let's say I require pulse laser mark 2 in order to unlock this, or I require minimum wave of 10 before this perk become available. As you can see it's pretty comprehensive and in theory you can build a fairly complex tech tree with this. And what I did is I made this. If you have played the demo, you would have noticed a very simple tech tree, but I am lazy, so there you go. And let's move on to the final 
component which is the FPS control so this is the first person shooter mode um, if I build a tower I can go into the first person shooter mode okay I press escape so yeah and FPS mode works pretty much like everything else you open the editor and you build a prefab you drag it into it and you configure it straight away so what does the weapon do for instance this one has a clip size of 30 do this much of damage the laser can it critical and can it slow the target down does it kill the target instantly and so on so forth yeah so plenty of customization option here and let's see do I miss anything um, yeah I think that's pretty much it um, yeah once again thank you for watching uh, if you like mm, the toolkit um, I'm gonna do a free version soon pretty soon you can try that out or better still buy the package I appreciate that right so thank you bye